Hey guys, and happy Fun Friday. Today for Foundations, we're just going to read a story from our Foundations little stapled packet. Um, you might have to go look for this one. Um, I sent it back a couple weeks ago. Um, you can find it after the story Jackson, um, and the other story that was on top was um, uh, Jake the Whale. So if you have those, that little story packet, um, stapled still some of you might have ripped the papers apart but you're looking for the story that's called Brad's Lost Glasses and I wrote it up here it's called Brad's Lost Glasses um, before we begin your job for today is to read the story and then flip the paper over and draw a picture of what you visualize so fun Friday is something simple uh, fun I know you guys like to draw pictures you're gonna read the story uh, think about where the story takes place, who are the characters, what was the problem in, in the story, and how did they solve the problem, and you're going to illustrate this. So you're going to draw a picture of what you visualize, like a movie in your head, on the back of your paper. You could also do it on a separate sheet of paper if you prefer doing that too, or in a notebook if you want to do it in your notebook. Okay, so before I begin, I just want to point out to you, which you we did mention before, but in the title, Brad's lost glasses you see this punctuation now some of you might think it's a comma it's not a comma it is an an apostrophe okay we use an apostrophe s to show possession that means when something somebody something belongs to somebody or something somebody owns something okay you might have heard me say jacqueline's jacket is in the closet jacqueline apostrophe s jacket whose jacket Jacqueline's jacket. Okay, so in this story, Brad has a pair of glasses and he loses them. So whose glasses are they? They're Brad's glasses. In this situation, Brad owns the glasses. They belong to him. We use an apostrophe S. So just so you are aware, when you see that little symbol, and it's usually up high in the sky, and then you write your S, an apostrophe S, that means possession, when something belongs to somebody, okay? Brad's lost glasses. I'm gonna read the story to you first, and then you're gonna practice reading it on your own and drawing your picture and coloring it when we're done. Brad's lost glasses. Brad, Stan, and Jeff had their lunches in a bag to take to the park. At the park, they played many games. Brad had a basketball and they shot it into the net. At last, they sat on a big rock and ate their lunches. When they were set to go have another contest, Brad said, I lost my glasses. He insisted that he put them on the big rock, but they were not there. Stan, Brad, and Jeff went on a hunt for the glasses. The kids must get the glasses. Brad's mom would be upset. Where could they look? Brad's glasses were not on the steps. Brad's glasses were not on top of the hot rod. Then Stan went back to the spot where they had lunch. There was a shrub next to the rock where they had sat. Brad's glasses were in the branches of the shrub. Brad was so glad to get his glasses back. Thanks, Stan, he said. Okay, so in case you're wondering, a hot rod is a, is a car, okay? A fancy car, like a fast car. All right, so that's the story. You're gonna go find that paper. You're going to reread the story and then you're going to illustrate it on the back. You're going to talk, you're going to be sure to include the characters, Brad, Stan, Jeff, and make sure they're at the park. Maybe you could put a basketball in the picture, whatever you want, whatever you visualized when you were reading the story. Okay guys, happy Friday, have fun, I'll see you soon.